So you want to learn how to create this insanely clean wiggle effect inside of After Effects, it's actually kind of a shake, but I'll be breaking it down step by step in this tutorial, so I don't gotta yap too much and let's get right into it. And I got this clip right here in After Effects, and wait, it glitches a little bit, be right back. Well, I can actually show you what I do because I grabbed this video straight off of YouTube. So, so sometimes when the video glitches like that, if you don't want to know this, you can just skip. But to get rid of that, I just open up Media Encoder at 2024. And then I go ahead and grab the video from my files. And what's it called? Baby Chief. Do it. This one right here. And then I just drag it into the Media Encoder, render the video out, and I just name it. I don't even got to name it. I just rendered the video once again and then replace it and then it will be poof back to normal all right i don't even know how i found out about this shit i'm just a smart guy but let's open up the files and replace the clip with the new one and now it's good all right and this is and this is the effect that i'll be breaking down it's this really clean wiggle with a flash and a flicker so let's remove all of those effects and let's create a new adjustment layer and i'll add on the first effect which is a sapphire warp puddle and if you don't got sapphire then you unfortunately can't create this effect so you might as well click off the video but but i'll turn up the amplitude to 0 0.17 and we can turn down the frequency to some really low number let's do 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 and then keyframe the amplitude and the frequency and I'll actually turn up the height to 1 and outer radius to 2.5k. Just like that. And then we can and then we can move the center XY all the way down right here to the bottom left. And then I'll go in like all the way here, like half a second, or let's do like 18 frames, and I'll turn down the amplitude to 0 and the frequency to 0 0.1. No, 0 0.01. And this is what we got now. That's a kind of wiggle effect. And we'll be messing with the graph editor when we're done with all of the effects. I'll turn on the motion blur and let's add on some more effects. Next effect I'll add on is a transform effect to kind of get a zoom. But I won't zoom it in too much, like just around 150 for the scale. And then I'll go into the, like, let's go right around here. A sapphire shake, just to spice it up a little bit more. And I'll turn up the amplitude to 1.5, keyframe that. And I'll keep the frequency at 8 keyframe the motion blur as well then i'll go into the x shake turn it down to 92 for the amplitude and then open up y shake and i'll turn up the y random amplitude to 400 so we'll have a really heavy vertical shake and then i'll turn the frequency up to 1.5 and then the wave amplitude to 7 as well as the wave frequency to 0 0.7 and that's pretty much it for these shakes and then we'll just go in like half a second and keyframe the frequency down to zero. So the shake will pretty much be done after that. And now we can add on like an exposure effect if you want a flash, just to spice it up. So I'll go for an exposure around like three here at the start. Yeah, that's good. And then like four frames in, I'll turn it down to zero. Then here, when the wiggle is kind of slowing down, I'll go in two frames, turn it up to like one or 1.5. And then two frames once again and turn it down to zero just like that and now the exposure effect is also done so we can add on like a sapphire flicker and that one i'll keyframe from zero point like 35 keyframe the amplitude and then here at the end i'll turn it down to zero and now we can start messing with the graph editor and if it's not enough i'll add in some more effects after so i'll just easy ease all of these keyframes and then I'll start off by opening up the graph editor for the warp puddle effects, like the amplitude right here. And I'll do something like, god damn, I gotta change the quality because I'm about to crash. I'll create something like this, and then, yeah, something like that. And then the same for the frequency, basically. So just like that. And then I'll do the same for the transform. I still want time for this effect to, like, be in the frame. I don't want to make it, like, yeah, I think I did it a little bit too quick right here, so I'll just let the effect stay for a little bit longer like this and i'll do the same for the amplitude just not a heavy graph yeah just like that that's good and we don't necessarily got to do anything with the flicker and the exposure i think they're good as they are so this is what we got right now that's really clean wiggle if you want to spice it up a little bit more you could add on a distort chroma and put it actually on top of these effects i'll put it over the shake no, over the transform actually, right here. And I'll turn up the bear lens to some really high number. Let's go for like 600. 
and amount at like 0 0.4 and then keyframe the amount and we can go in all the way like here and turn it down to zero and then i'll create a graph that looks something like this for that one and we'll have some distortion in here as well just like that it's it's really subtle because it's hidden under all of the effects we can actually bump up the amount yeah just like that now it's a little bit more visible but still really subtle you could create a graph that looks more like this if you feel like it that way you can see more of the distort chroma just like that and if you don't want it to cover the wiggle then you could basically just put it on top of the warp puddle as well now it's a little bit more subtle and this effect is actually from a new vfx skip plugin which is a plugin with over 150 effects that you just simply apply by going into the tabs so if i want shakes i just go into the shakes tab i'll hide my adjustment layer and create a new one and right here we've got a bunch of wiggles and this wiggle clean is right here and i just apply it and play it through yeah it, yeah it's a little bit shorter right here so i just gotta drag on my keyframes if i want to change it but i got a bunch of different shakes in here as well as rotor effects transitions grunge effects hits speed ramps and just basically everything that you need so if you want to go and check it out i'll have it linked in the description this will just save you countless of hours while you're editing and if you want to see me create an edit in under five minutes with this plugin then click on the video that's like right around here somewhere no let me check no the video is going to be like right there so if you want to see that press right there but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one